Uh, I think that uh, economic history is fitting with the question of regulation. Uh, I think that we need to adopt a historical perspective in approaching the problem of regulation in uh, the field of the local services. Um, especially starting from the historical period called of the uh, Second Industrial Revolution, starting from the uh, second half of the 19th century, uh, the uh, level of the local services is profoundly changing for many reasons, for many circumstances. Um, technology is growing enormously uh, thanks to the great technological achievements which are typical of the second half of the 19th century and which were exploited also in the field of the, of the local services. Uh, from the point of view of the entrepreneurship and it, uh, many uh, new uh, private companies, many new municipal companies are more and more involved in this sector and they are creating and they are providing a new kind of uh, client, a new, client, a new kind of uh, user in the towns. Secondly, we have to take into account the great uh, urban transformation which is overwhelming the uh, most part of the big and middle sized uh, towns, in, especially in, in Western Europe. And the uh, dimension of the towns is uh, increasing so much and a new kind of awareness is spreading among the citizens. And so also the, the concept and the mood um, towards the local services is completely changing. So I think that uh, we have to put into evidence when, why and how the question of regulation in the field of local services is uh, starting its long uh, maturation uh, path. At the beginning of the century, the law concerning the municipalization in 1903 uh, is uh, changing completely the context, giving the opportunity to municipal uh, companies uh, to rule, to manage uh, a wide series of technical uh, services, from pl public transportation uh, to energy, uh, to the hygienic services, sewerage uh, systems, uh, water, uh, water supply systems, and the, the complete level, uh, the full level of the uh, local services, uh, the, the technical networks, uh, is really uh, changing the life of millions of people. Uh, the, uh, the law of 1903 uh, is opening the doors uh, to a new kind of development in the field of municipal training. Uh, the other uh, main aspect which is changing the life of local services during the 20th century uh, are both, uh, on the one hand, the economic boom and the great alteration of settlements, the great, the new dimension of, uh, of uh, the towns uh, in Italy due to the great internal migration. And secondly, the oil shock in 1973 and the following consequences which changed completely uh, the sector in terms of <coughs> more uh, in terms of more privatization, in terms of more liberalization, in terms of more internationalization of this sector. Um, in, during the 50s and the, six, and the 60s, the Italian towns are, uh, are obliged to uh, widen the offer of the local services and their role is more and more important in terms of harmonizing also, uh, decreasing also, reducing also the economic uh, inequalities in the towns. After 1973 and then definitely starting from the new law which was made in 1990, the world sector is completely changing its direction from a local level, from just one single service, to multi-service companies, to 
multi-service companies which are uh, which are uh, working in a very wide, wider and wider uh, territory. Until the uh, present days, until the uh, current days, uh, when the great uh, multi-utilities uh, firms are uh, more and more relevant from an economic point of view, and they are uh, beyond the old and glorious role and identity of the municipal companies.